Welcome to downtown Tacoma. We are here at the iconic Union Station, the first Northwest Rail Station. Now a federal courthouse, there's a museum, and a new culture and coffee that people are raving about. I'm Brad Harper, this is Peter Lopez. We are your hosts for American Dream TV. Let's go. Home to thriving businesses, waterfront, museum district, UW Tacoma campus, we're known as the city of destiny. We're next to the iconic Union Station, built in 1911 by Reed and Stem. This was the most state-of-the-art architectural building in the entire Northwest. While this was being built, they collaborated with two other architects to another big masterpiece called Grand Central Station. It's a special gathering place for locals, students, people of all ages and walks of life invoking a sense of family in the living room of the community it serves. Tacoma is a city that's rich in culture and a man that's brewing his own style, serving superb coffee, hospitality, coaching small businesses and entrepreneurs, creating community through masterful leadership and let me tell you, unmatched positive energy. A man we're honored to call a friend, co-founder of Anthem Coffee, is Brian Reynolds. Brian is a fellow food and beverage connoisseur who loves creating, and sharing delectable bites and of course, coffee. Brian and his team have created a really unique and delicious white chocolate lavender infused mocha. You gotta try it, Brad. I can't wait to it's try it. It's amazing. This. Let's go meet Brian. Brian. How you Peter, doing? What's up, man? Good, to, so see good you. to see you. Oh, so good to see you. Brad, thanks for coming out. So excited to finally try this. This is amazing. You're right. I Enjoy told it. you. This <laughs> is great. Brian, the architecture, the urban field, this is beautiful. Tell me what started all this. Man, I gotta tell you, we are so fortunate to be at this location here in downtown Tacoma. And this is really where Anthem began. Now, if I go beyond the cafe, the reason we got into the coffee business was you know, years ago, my parents answered the call to adopt. They heard the story of a little five-year-old girl by the age of five who'd been through like 12 different foster homes. Wow. So in their effort to try to make a difference in this little girl's life, you know, my dad was working a crazy amount of hours every week. My wife threw the idea out, what if we start a coffee shop? And lo and behold, here we are. We were able to get my dad to retire sooner, be more involved and invested in her life. And then my parents went on to uh, foster eight kids and adopt four of them. So I have all these siblings, uh, sisters, and a brother I've always wanted. So that is an incredible story. Brian, it sounds like things were really going great for you. It wasn't always that way, though. No? I'll tell you what, after growing to eight stores, COVID hit. And that was a new frontier for all of us. A lot of businesses closed, as you know. And in fact, we closed every single one of our locations for a period of time. Wow. We ended up losing the momentum that we had built up over these years and had to kind of rebuild and find our place in the communities again. They figured out other places to go and other patterns for their daily habit. So when we reopened, we reopened with an idea to involve other local businesses. Uh, you know, of course, they didn't have farmer's markets or pop-up shops to go to. Of course. So we said, as we reopen our spaces, let's also have them come in, set up their pop-up shops, sell their candles and their flower arrangements and different things like that. They were able to reach out to their audience and their network of people and we were all able to create a win-win all around. Sounds like you created a community and brought people together and a way through. Yeah, it was a bright spot on a really dark season, but I'm so glad to be on the other side of it. Brian, thanks for having us out. Brad, it's been a I pleasure. I really appreciate it. Thank really you for making it. the time. This is awesome. Thank you for the coffees. Such a pleasure. This is great. Thank you. This Thank is you. amazing. Cheers. The inspiring story we heard today was a shining example of the many stories that make up the true American dream. And this all started with finding a forever home for a five-year-old foster child. Then their whole family going all in on something. That's a huge risk. It doesn't get any better than that. I'm Peter Lopez. I'm Brad Harper. And we'll see you next time on The American Dream.